obviously you really can't explain it because we not in your body. But what is that? What kind of feeling do you get when you know it's fight? It's fight day. You scared. You scared. You scared. It's like what? The f this is shit about to finna happen. What? Just gets you nervous right now. It's like I, why do I feel like this? Why do I feel tired? I just got just slept. I'm resting. Nervous, you're tired. You're excited, you're anxious at the same time. And right now it's just the beginning. It's starting to brew. It's like that bubble guts in your in your bottom, in your stomach. Just brewing, but it get worse and worse closer to the fight. That you never heard. That you never heard. Uh, keep it going, keep it going. Yeah. Uh-huh. Of course, there's a lot of talk. Oh, you, you might get a title shot after this. You might get this. You might get that. I don't believe in any of that. It, it, it's weird mentally. I, I There's all these things that run through your mind before and after, through training camp, through all of that. But I've just been blessed with this ability to be able to hone all of that and, and just drown it out. And of course it didn't just come overnight. It took years of practice. I've been in hundreds and hundreds of, of competitive matches to where I learned how to control that. And yeah, there's a lot of talk. You might get that shot. You, you will get that shot. You will get, I don't believe any of that. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. I have to step inside that octagon with this man and I have to defeat this man. And I need to do it impressively in the way that I know I'm capable of. That is the only important thing to me. And you will see it in my walk. Once I walk towards that cage, of course I'll be nervous. Of course I'll be excited. Of course I'll be scared. Of course I'll, I'll, I'll feel strong. I'll feel invincible. But I just have to hone all those emotions. And when I step in, I am a god when I step in there. Nobody can stop me. I got all these niggas wishing that they were in my position I got all these women trying to come through without permission I'm an OG, they call me OG <laughs> Scared as I was fighting, I realized these guys were more afraid than I was of the, me than I was of them. And that's when my whole game started changing as far as my um, my approach to us fighting. Teacher? I see your talents have gone beyond the mere physical level. Your skills are now at the point of spiritual insight. I have several questions. What is the highest technique you hope to achieve? To have no technique. Very good. What are your thoughts while facing an opponent? There is no opponent. And why is that? Because the word I does not exist. So, continue. A good fight should be like a small play, but played seriously. 
A good martial artist does not become tense but ready. Not thinking yet, not dreaming. Ready for whatever may come. When the opponent expands, I contract. When it contracts, I expand. And when there is an opportunity, I do not hit. It hits all by itself. Now, you must remember the enemy has only images and illusions. Behind which he hides his true motives. Destroy the image and it will break the enemy. The it that you refer to is a powerful weapon, easily misused by the martial artist who deserts his faults. For centuries, the code of the Shaolin Temple has been preserved. Remember, the honor of our brotherhood has been held true. Tell me now the Shaolin Commandment number 13. A martial artist has to take responsibility for himself and to accept the consequences of his own doing. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. If they get the fame and they leave the little people, so I'm asking God, Allah, to make me strong, not for me. Don't give me no money. Don't give me the fame. I want to win so I can come home and speak for the brother who's living in rat-infested houses, sleeping on concrete, in the ghetto, can't go on television and speak. So God, I'm your tool. I'm your servant. Let me get this man tonight and go out blasting. <laughs> When the stars align, feel like my heart will fall on the line. Money and murder hollow my mind. I pull up a red cane on a dime. When I die, I want all my words in a shrine. Bury me 20 feet on a pyramid. I don't know where my fear is. Only fill it with God. Elevate on my spirit. All held on the mind. I don't know better, but red on my life. Isn't a product of many high eyes. Riddle with sin, sun in your mind. If I don't get glory, what is your life? I made in my reflection Plans for you before mama has his section Plans for you before daddy was finesse And all of your dreams mesh with my many children are like I feel in my voice with worldly pleasures What a success, why do I measure? Physical game, match the pressure I'm gonna need that 745 dripped in leather Paradise, honey milk, all that perfect weather I know, yeah, I know it's wrong Tomorrow, it's your time, man. Lock in, baby. I got it right here for you. I got it right here for you, baby. Show time. No, please. Check. I'm gonna you work on do. this. You're gonna do 15 minutes and work on this and work on that. Like, right. trust me, trust no, me. I was dog. gonna say if you to save time, you can use ice one. I don't so. need to save time on you, babe. You're a priority. The best thing you ever said. All right, let's give you some. Going into fight week, mentally there has to be a shift. There has to be a change. You go through training camp each and every day, and you're. You're basically just, you're tired of training camp. You, you put your body through the ringer, the highs, the lows, the injuries, the, the, the lack of motivation some days. But then that, fight's, that fight week starts rolling around and it's different now. When you first started out, it was a little different. You had to find your way. But now it's getting closer and closer. I'm now a 14 fight veteran, actually 16 fight veteran. And when you're getting, you've gotten there, now I, I know how what to kind of do and what to not to do. But it's uh there's just a shift, there's a change that I can't explain. You can't you can't explain it. Your mind knows. I woke up in the best mood this week, knowing it's fight week. Just because my body woke up, my body knows, oh, we're almost done with this training. Shit. It's, it's, it's almost time to go out there and get this check. 
we're about ready. And so there's that mental shift that your body makes and your mind makes. And then it's now it's I'm, I'm clicking, I'm firing. I was hurt last week. I was going through pains last week. I had bumps and bruises last week, but none of that matters this week. This is time to put everything together, put all the pieces and the puzzle, and let's go out there and show everybody what we've been working so hard for. Man, you know, the sport is unforgiving sport, you know. Osman today fought Rafael dos Anjos. Tough, tough, former world champion. That guy fought who's who, beat mini four champion. Osman went out there and just domination, man. And, uh, you know, much respect for Rafael. Uh, it was not one bit of give up in him. And I was shocked how tough and resilient he is. Hey, I told y'all, man, we did it. I mean, we, we built different, you know. Every time we go out there, he put his heart and his soul out there, man. And at the end of the day, that's all we can do, you know. Nobody can stop us. Nobody. Of course, I'm very proud because uh, he stays undefeated, 9-0, and uh, he fought a really big name champion, right? Really good fighter. So, uh, yeah, I'm very happy. And uh, every fight you see stuff that you want to see back, slowly by slowly, like I said before, he's a very professional guy, a fighter, and also he's going to learn a lot from this fight. Um, so I'm very, very happy. And again, he's going to—he still has so much room to get better. As a striking coach, I see like stuff that's working now better. Man, he's been through. Uh, he proved already. It's already time. He has to go. I think he, we all know now is a—it's a title shot. You know, there's nothing else to do, nowhere else to go. Nobody else to beat unless the champion, you know. I hope Tyrone comes out and they fight him because, I mean, he proved already. He can strike, he can take people down, he can bring to deep waters and he comes out with the win all the time. If you put yourself in a position to fight for a UFC championship, I think there's, there has to be a multitude of things um, that you have to do well and you have to do well consistently. And I think, uh, for us and for our group, I think Kamaru em embodies that with his level of professionalism, his level of, uh, his level of work ethic. Um, and just throughout the week and how he, he just approaches everything as a challenge. And, um, you know, so far he's, he's risen up and, and um, accepted every challenge and, and, and it's conquered it. So, you know, it's, he's going to continue to write his story and it's, um, very grateful to just be part of, part of his journey. I started out a little flat, but you just gotta fucking find it. You know, you, you go out and you have all these plans in your mind and this is how it's gonna happen, this is how it's gonna happen. But as soon as somebody swing, you see how fast they're, they're, they're swinging or how fast they're hitting or how hard they're hitting or how hard they're kicking. It changes everything. You just gotta find it, somehow get in that rhythm and, and get the job done. And that's just what I feel that I do better than anyone. Is I find it and I get that job done. So. Another step closer tonight, we got the victory. And next is the strap. Whoever has that strap, they better get ready, because I'm coming. It's me and your mother and your aunt, we like broke it down towards the hoka. We dance, and you walk in, we was dancing like crazy, huh? <laughs> Aaron Woodley, great champion, but the UFC need them. They need somebody who spices color. You know, like, like Dana said on Fox, he was saying harder in the fifth round than the first round. And that's what I said. You know, the guy's unbelievable athlete. He's a great competitor, loyal. And this is what it's all about, man. It's just about putting hard work. Like I said, Africa, literally today, if you have a dream, you always can do it. And this young kid from Africa come here to America very young, and he have a dream to become a world champion. To, and he will be a world champion, one step closer to the goal. If you have a dream, you can achieve it. There's nothing I would do unless I have um, a possibility of being humiliated. If I can't be humiliated, I, if I fail, I don't want to do it. Because only by doing that, I would rise to my highest potential with, with the fact that I might be humiliated, and I don't want that to happen. But when it does happen, then um, I will truly be humiliated. Because when I succeed, I truly succeed.